What's up, guys? Chris Tips 1. How's everyone doing? Here we go. This was requested by a bunch of you guys. I picked up the DeLorean. We're going to do my third Lego build right now. Um, the first one was obviously the Moonlander. Second was the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters Ambulance. Thanks for the correction in that last video. And um, now we're doing the DeLorean. DeLorean. That's a pretty weird word to say. But have you guys seen Back to the Future? I hope some of you guys have. Jesus. I mean, it's it's been out for quite some time. The first one debuted in, what, 85? Back to Future 2 was 1989. And then the third one, which is the Western-themed one, debuted in 1990. Um, back to the Future 2 was obviously the future. You got the really cool hoverboard. But Back to the Future, the first original one, is probably my favorite. Second would be two, and the third one will be my third favorite. Um, I do remember Back to the Future 3, where uh, Marty stepped on a spittoon a brass spittoon sitting on the floor popped it open and uh got tobacco juice all over biff that was a pretty cool scene i actually did a meme on that i think on my jugs instagram way back in the day but here we go i am building the base of the delorean which is what is really cool about this lego set is you can actually build the version from one two or three um after building this set had a bunch of extra pieces and sure enough you can actually build back to the features too where you can put the little uh, vegetable processor in the back. Um, the wheels do turn in, and it makes it look like it's hovering. You can put a couple clear Legos in the base to make it look like it's floating. The third back, or the third, or blah, 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 back to feature three. If you see in the middle of the screen in the back there, there's three, there's four red wheels. That's from the third version. But I'm doing the original. And uh, that's what you guys are seeing here. Um, this build was fun, man. It, it, you know, each build I do, I'm like, man, I'm going to get so much better. I'm going to become a Lego pro. And uh, no, <laughs> I thought I would do, be doing these a lot quicker. And this still probably took about three hours to do. But nonetheless, I had my accessories, I guess, so to speak, and I was good. Um, I was zoned in, and, and this build was definitely fun. This, uh, people ask me, what are this, what's this orange piece? Um, this orange piece comes in every Lego set. It's really cool tool. You know, if you put a Lego piece at the wrong place, you can easily pry it out or snap it in, snap out. And I actually use that tool a lot this time. But it's really, that's why it's really important when you get these Lego boxes to open every bag and know it. You know, you gotta organize it, color, coordinate, whatever. Put all log pieces together. Because if you don't, this the, your build's gonna take three times as long. And this one, I was just I was just going for it, man. I got a few different angles here. Um, as you can see on the top right, uh, I do use my iPhone to use as a viewer screen because the GoPro that I use to film with is it's right in front of my face, so I'm kind of like tilted to the left or trying to look over. But I want to make sure the the pieces that I'm putting together are in frame. And I'm getting better. This is my third build, and I'm assuming, I think, my angles are getting better so you guys can understand or see each piece go in. Uh, it's a learning process, guys. But, I mean, dude, these these videos are actually getting more fun to do than actual did videos, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know if, if it's because um, I don't have to be entertaining. I just build without talking, and then I just do all the talking afterwards but i don't know this is just definitely fun to do um i'm again a lot of little pieces on this set um the doors they do flap which is really freaking cool um there you see you can hit the little decal on there you got your present time and then your like your destination time there's a couple things that like in this uh delorean that i did not like a couple small things that i wish they would have thought of something else to do but nonetheless, like the back portion of this DeLorean looks looks the best. Um, but one of them is the scale. This uh, set does come with uh, Marty and Doc as the minifigs. And, but when you set them aside, they look... The, the, the DeLorean just looks small compared to like the Ecto-1. Um, here we're building the, the rear. I don't know, they're jets or I don't know what those things are. But um, yeah, it's it's... That was one, and then also, oh, look at that. The flux capacitor. How awesome is that? Oh, dude, that's totally tits money. Love it. Um, 
let's see what shoot where, where was i going um it's the front part of like the windshield like those corner pieces and and you'll see here uh, i'll be putting them on here shortly i don't like the way it looks i think they could have used different uh lego pieces for that but um oh man it's this was just fun i do uh, okay here we go here's, here, here's one of the doors i'm sorry i'm probably skipping a lot but um <laughs> I do have a couple more sets already loaded to build. Those are the pieces, guys. I think they could have done a lot better job, man. I don't like them. It's cool that they fold up and down, but it just it does not look good. But uh, here we go. We're almost completing the process here. I think I'm just going to build the with a bumper, right? Yeah, with the out-of-time license plate. The front bumper? My front or back? No, it's the back bumper. Yep, there it is. Out-of-time. That's That's a cool piece, man comes with red and uh, orange little clear I guess plastic to be like headlamp stoplight whatever you want to call it but there it is got the little mufflers in the bottom and I think that was one of the last pieces and look but look dude look how cool that looks from the back it looks cool now this little thing this was a little fidgety little sucker but it's like a rubber plastic you know, that acts for like the cooling system, I don't know, the hoses or whatever of the DeLorean, but this really ties it in. You got to put one on uh, each side. But uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm losing space up uh, up on my desk there. I might have to put it in, uh, put it at the shop. I don't know. But um, since I got two more builds to do, oh, look at that. Look at that sucker. That looks key. That looks cool. And it looks a lot better with, with, with the doors up, that's for sure. But there is detail in there. You can actually, there's rooms you can actually put the minifigs inside. Actually, no, I think you can only fit one inside. I'm not sure. But those those things in the back, those black pieces, I should have squeezed those together and line them, and line them both. But it looks really cool. I, I, I love this build. Again, it's total nostalgia for me. Here we go. I've got Marty and Doc. Um, these model heads are pretty cool. I put Doc the little scared look. He has a smiley face and, you know, I don't know. Doc is always freaking out. So, I ought to keep it that way. But I do have two Lego sets in the works. I got Not in the works, but I already got them in. And next Sunday, I'm doing the 1989 Batmobile. The version. Oh, see, wait, hold on. Do you see that license plate? That's from Back to the Future 2. So, that's your futuristic license plate. That's like the little food processor you just attach to the back. And, um... Yeah, this version comes with the skateboard, but I had this Lego. That did not come with that set, by the way, guys. That one I've had before, and I'm giving uh, Marty the hoverboard, even though it's a Back to Feature 1 <laughs> uh, DeLorean. But that looks definitely cool, man. And those are the other sets. But I do have the Batmobile 1989 version where Batman was Michael Keaton. And then the Joker was, uh, who was it? Jack Nicholson. So I got that build coming next week. And then I also got an X-Wing Starfighter Star Wars uh, plane, flight, whatever you want to call it. I got the X-Wing Starfighter. It'll be totally cute. That was like a 750-piece set. That, was going, that one's actually going to take a long freaking time. But um, I do want to celebrate something here, guys. I did buy the domain Tits Money. So titsmoney.com is officially and finally mine. In celebration of this video, boom, right there. Check it out. Pack, dip, spit, back to the future style, baby. That's newest shirt at titsmoney.com. Pick it up, guys. Get a shirt. Support this channel, man. I'm making crap off of YouTube anymore. This is all for fun. But if you guys want to support me buying more Legos, pick up a shirt at titsmoney.com. Testimonygear.com still works though. But um, yeah, next week, dude, Batmobile, that's going to be Team Money for sure. And then the X Wing Starfighter. But guys, thank you, man. Thank you for watching these Sunday's videos. The, the people who actually watch these videos are, I actually think are, are the hardcore fans, man. And because, um, you know, you, like I've mentioned in the previous videos, I don't give away my jugs in, in these videos. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by and spending your Sunday night. And, um, yeah, go uh, go Chargers. We play today, by the way. Or the game's probably over by now, but who's your team? Comment below if you're, if you're a football fan. Oh, uh, God, I don't know. I'm just talking, talking, talking. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys all know this. If you ain't dipping, you ain't living. Mm -hmm.